Welcome back to the Nova's Carpets pregame show on 1360 Radio KSC. We're joined now by Healing Senior Tucker Spears. Tucker, you see him on the offense as a tight end and the defense as a defensive end. So what do you like more, offense or defense? Uh, I'm more of an offensive guy. I uh, played tight end last year as well. Um, really enjoyed that position, being able to catch the ball, make some plays, uh, do my job blocking, and uh, just help you know up front like that. Uh, but defensively, it's been really fun this year. been playing with... Uh, Joe Kale also has the other defensive end who's having a really good season. Um, so I've been I've been getting better at the job and helping the team out as much as I can. You're a tight end, like you talked about, blocking and pass catching. So is the blocking something you had to learn, the technique? Yes. Uh, it, it's been – I started out as a t- offensive tackle, um, and I switched over to tight end my sophomore year. So I kind of had an understanding of all the blocking schemes and uh, where, who to block who on what play and uh, – so it's it's been able I've been able to uh, to pick up the blocking schemes a lot easier than some other tight ends in the past. Is it a situation where the blocking schemes they get kind of complicated? So sometimes you you miss it. Can you feel it when all of a sudden, ooh, I didn't block that right? Yeah, there are plays where uh, if you do block the wrong guy or miss your guy, that it can be a crucial block and can really uh, slow up the play. Um, that's happened you know a couple times this year already. So uh, I just keep working harder and harder every uh, day to get better and better at it. What's better, pass blocking or protection blocking? Or easier, I guess. Um, I think I think pass blocking on the line is probably the easiest for me because I have a tackle helping me out. Uh, when I get split out on the uh, outside, it's a one-on-one with usually a smaller guy, so he's a little quicker than me sometimes. Uh, but once I can get a hold of him, usually it's a little easier to man it, I guess. Can you tell when the guys have scouted uh, your different – your different offensive schemes. Can you tell that? Uh, definitely. When you have certain formations, um, they can blitz a little easier. They can be a little quicker. They kind of know where the play is going. So you uh, you really have to watch out for some of those. It's usually the first time we run it, you'll really pick up on how they know uh, the blocking scheme or you know your blocking scheme. So, but uh, you gotta fight through it and try to make the best as what you can. You're heading out of the dome now again. You've been there last year. You were there the year before. You, uh, uh, what, what's different this year about the previous years? I feel like I'm more of a leader this year. Um, I feel like that uh, I paid more of a contribution to the team to get them this year as playing you know, both ways, defensively and offensively. Um, so, But I'm just as excited as I was last year to get there, and uh, hopefully we can do as well as we did last year. Is there a difference you notice playing indoors versus out? Does anything really change? Um, Other than way, weather. Yeah, yeah weather... Um, that's one big. Uh, How about the noise? There. Noise. I think it's gonna be louder in the dome. It's gonna be a better, a bigger atmosphere. Um, it's gonna be harder to hear the play calls. So there's gonna be a lot more signals. Um, but other than that, I think the weather is really the main, the main thing that is different. What's it feel like to walk out on that dome floor? It's awesome. Uh, it's it's a different environment. It excites you. It's something new. It's a. Uh, it's just. What you've accomplished, you know, throughout the whole year, that's what you're finally stepping onto and being able to compete at the really the next level. At, at last year's game, you guys had that pretty well in hand, and it was evident from everybody. The coaches probably didn't tell you that, but it was evident from everybody that you were going to win that thing after the end of the first quarter. Do yeah. you feel that on the sideline, even though the coaches are telling you the game's always nothing, nothing? No, I will, uh, especially last year, I felt like I never really felt like we secured a win until – Late in the fourth quarter, if we have a big lead, or until those final seconds really take off, I'm really focused on, you know, each play, play by play, drive by drive, um, and I try to think of the score as much as zero zero as it could be. So uh, I usually just go out there, you know, even if we're up by a big, uh, a big margin to play each play like I can my best ability. Well, hopefully you got two games left in your high school career, Tucker Spears. Best of luck. Thank you. That was Heal and Senior Tucker Spears, and we'll be right.